Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is the awesome graphic design of the day series where if I find something that is an inspiring graphic design layout, I'm going to bring it to your attention because there might be one or two little things that you'll be able to take out of these videos that you can use in a current project or a future project. And that's very important because that's how I learned along the way. I learned by viewing other people's great professional artwork and saying, wow, I love the effect they did. I love that. So it could be the most simplest thing in these videos to, you know, the most complex things. Um, a lot of times, you know, people don't think of the most simplest graphic designs as anything spectacular, but it's the little things that they do to make it look at that extra level. So I do want to apologize. I haven't been able to get a video out for a couple of weeks on this. I have done other ones in my other playlists. So if you've been tuning in or you've been on our social networks, you'll see that I had a baby four weeks ago today. So I'm just getting back into the series now and I can finally, you know, get these out and pump them out much quicker. Anyway, that being said, because I had a baby and I'm so exhausted, of course, and I'm not working out, I'm losing all this, this weight and I'm, you know, I'm going into atrophy. I was at the vitamin shop this past week, you know, to get my protein shake and get some vitamins and stuff like that. And, uh, so while I was on the way out, the gentleman, uh, told me to stop and get some samples of this new protein stuff, uh, weight gain or stuff, um, stuff that I'm not interested in, but it, it has nothing to do with that. If as a graphic designer, when you're trained to look at graphic design or, or your look for th certain things, you know, this instantly caught my eye. I mean, they gave not only like a little packet sample, it was a, just a good little gig they had going on, uh, a sample packet of their protein, which I haven't had yet. I've uh, been a little bit busy and, uh, the actual postcard referring to the product. Now, when I interned when I, while I was in college, I worked at a company that did a lot of product shot work. So uh, I always look at products, um, you know, the way that they're clipped out and, and even the way that they're photographed. If, if, you know, if there's the lighting is totally off and stuff like that, and I'm not an expert on it, but it's just stuff that I break down and, and you know, I really know that, man, they did a really good job. You know, this isn't some person who just took it with their, you know, camera. This is an agency that designed this knowing all the ways to do it. So this is the card. It is for cell mass. And uh, like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but you know, I'm sure it's good, but I like what they did with the product and I like what they actually did to layer it and make it more three dimensional. So we're going to jump into Adobe Illustrator CS6. I'm going to go, I'm going to uh, review this thing real quick and then I'm going to wrap up at the end. So let's go. Okay. So I have this scanned into the computer right now, this postcard slash information card. And I'm going to talk about the things that I noticed. I mean, there's always stuff that I don't like, uh, that I feel I could have been done better. And you can also comment that stuff below, but I like to also talk about the good stuff. That's the whole reason of this uh, series. But I want to start out with their logo because I like the font. I like the blockiness of the font where actually some of the corners are squared off and some are rounded. And uh, if anybody knows that font, let me know below. It probably is something simple. I just haven't searched for it yet. But I like the way that they gradated the colors because it looks like it turns into like a metal, like a, like a strong, you know, we're talking about advanced strength on here. That's the, you know, what, what it's called. If it feels like titanium. That's the kind of uh, effect that it's giving on there with that gradient. Um, also, they outlined the... They could have just had that gradient go from gray to, to white from the bottom to the top. But what they did was they outlined it in a white stroke to make it more thicker. And it seems as if from the printed, printed postcard, there's a little bit of a dark shadow on it that pops it off of the background, which is pretty cool. Um, I usually go from left to right, but I'm going to be dyslexic today. I'm going to start on the right. And... Uh, over here, because we're talking about the logo, the way that they, first of all, aligned everything, uh, even down here, they're a little bit off, but you know, it's basically just like almost right on the money. Um, same deal over here. If you bring a guide down, that's not an accident. That's something that you need to do in your designs. You need to line things up because it's not going to look right in the end. I mean, they went from top to bottom on this. Um, they had this entire area open here, which is why they were able to center these two logos in there you know they didn't it didn't make sense for them to align it over here because now this is kind of an open area uh, i like how they justified the paragraphs and there's no um hyphenation on here which is i never ever ever let anything go through with hyphenation it looks totally uh crappy in my opinion i like what they did with and it's on both sides but for the product shot 
perfect images, perfectly clipped out. They got the little shadows on the bottom. You can even tell over here. And uh, the you can tell the lighting was you know pretty equal on both sides. I don't know if they use three-point lighting like they do in video, but however they do it, um, if you could see the same lighting, it goes from here to here. Now, there is a chance that they were able to make that effect using Photoshop, you know, these actual gradients uh, coming through the dark to now it comes back to the natural color red of that of that um, canister. But, you know, I honestly don't know. I would love to know. But, you know, um, if there's any experts that, you know, know or can figure out exactly what they did, let me know below. But, um... I believe this was definitely shot with good lighting. Anyway, so we're talking about this side of the card, and I like what they did. They, you know, it's this little background, like kind of, you know, um, like lasers coming at you or whatever. It's pretty subtle, but it makes it that background texture. And what they did with, first of all, putting it and clipping this out and putting this here and then leaving this whole area open in black so they can, it can show it as two different thoughts. That's why they wanted this back background, and they separated it with a nice line. I would have liked to see this line come all the way through, um, and the same deal on the, well, it does on the bottom just a bit. But um, I guess because they didn't make this a perfect box, they just wanted to kind of, you know, maybe they had it, it almost looks like it goes from a diagonal in here, um, if you understand what I'm talking about. But they did the same thing on the bottom to show, you know, the disclaimer and all that stuff and all this in a way, you know, unimportant information, but important, but not, you know, totally, you know, standing out and catching your eye. So uh, we're going to jump onto the back. Um, I don't love what they did up here. Maybe they could have, you know, the cornerstone of is not that important, but I just don't like what they did with the font. I, I wish they would have made it exactly like they made the word cell mass with the, you know, is it the same font? I mean, no, it's not the same font. It is, uh, you can look at the A, uh, there's a, there's no A's on there. Uh, the S's, all right, it's similar, but maybe it's stretched out higher anyway. But you can totally tell, look at the coloring difference on here. I wish they would have kept that continuity there. Um, the most important part is recovery because these, you know, these workout uh, buffs and, uh, you know, I don't want to say juice heads, but just anybody, you know, I was uh, I was a big workout buff for a long time. So seeing that word recovery is something that would stand out and be like, boom, all right, I need something. I came in here for something for recovery, and look, there it is. That's what I need. So um, this is a different product, obviously, but they clipped it out, and they put it behind there, obviously, because it's not as important as what they're trying to sell. What they're trying to sell is what's over here, the main product, the advanced strength cell mass. Um, same deal. They cut it off the two areas like here. Um, and they were able to put this information here. Bullet points. They still use that same red. Uh, concrete reinforced. They actually were able to finally use that yellow again. I would have liked to see them use the yellow just a little bit more through the piece. Um, maybe even these red lines that separated, they could have thrown them in as yellow and it would have been a pretty cool effect. Besides that, we're talking about Basically the same font on here. This is a uh, Helvetica or an Ariel for the information on the fonts, which I'm sure, uh, I actually know on the packaging it's all the same uh, other font. But the uh, last thing I want to say is up here, what they did with the word recovery is they basically typed out the word, filled it in with red, and did a multiply on it. And so it multiplied and you're able to see that texture right through the back. They could have done a transparency and made it a lot lighter, but that's how they did it. I believe it's 100% transparency. And then down here, you got your little disclaimer stuff. So that's really it. Like I said, look at this, scrutinize this thing, and let me know what you saw that I didn't see. All right, so thanks for tuning in with us for another episode of the awesome graphic design of the day, where, uh, like I said, hopefully you can pick out a couple of things to use in your layout that you're doing right now or a future layout. Let me know in the comments below what you learned in this video or what you saw that I may have missed because everybody's eyes are trained differently and I'm no super duper expert. I just have a passion about what I do and I just want to talk about it to everybody else. So if you have anything to add, definitely let me know below. Click the subscribe button so you can subscribe to our channel where we have a number of series, including this one, so you'll be able to know exactly when I come out with any videos. And uh, that's it, everybody. My name is Steve Looney from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Hope you have a good night. Peace.